I'd like to share a quick story with you. Uh, it's about a time in my life where I discovered the power of switching from what if thoughts to just actually trying things. Uh, now the song in this video runs about four minutes and 18 seconds. So I'm going to attempt to uh, tell my story and to uh, make my point uh, in those four minutes and 18 seconds. Let's get started. Back in 2015, my friend Joel and I were starting a business together. Joda Creative, a digital and creative marketing agency. Most of you know this by now, but what you may not know is how we got it off the ground. In order to get that business going, we had to start by getting our first clients. In other words, we had to sell. Now, I didn't very much enjoy the sales process. I find it kind of overwhelming and it can sometimes feel like an endless amount of work. Uh, I also don't like rejection, who does? Uh, or the uncomfortable feeling of selling to somebody. So the resistance towards crossing that first barrier was definitely there. But I decided I wanted to get past all of that. I was excited enough about reaching the other side of this challenge and the potential that that had. I wanted to break out of this idea or pattern of thinking, what if, what if, what if, about my ideas? What if we hear back from a few of these emails we're sending out? What if we can book some meetings to pitch our company? What if someone likes us and decides to give us a shot? What if we can actually help businesses be better at social media? What if we fail and this is just a big waste of time? What if we don't fail and I can quit my job and actually become a full-time entrepreneur? The what ifs were flowing, but I decided to press on and just try. So during my breaks at my job and evenings and weekends at home, I'd work on finding interesting businesses that I thought might need our services. Once I found them, I'd add them to a Google Doc spreadsheet I'd work on reaching out to them uh, by email, asking if they'd be interested in discussing the possibility of working together. To increase my chances of hearing back from these companies, I'd limit my reach outs, choosing only the companies that I thought fit best with us. I'd research their company and then I'd literally make a five to six page document outlining exactly how I think they could improve their marketing uh, or social media or content or all of those things. These documents were not small. This took time, attention, analysis, energy, creativity. It involved writing, strategy, design work, uh, and all kinds of things to make it happen. So this is really where I learned what it meant to hustle, what it meant to go after something you're passionate about, and what it meant to break through the what if phase into the let's just try this phase. We sent email after email, week after week, and then finally, it happened. We got a promising response. Daniel, thanks for the pitch. Joel, wonderful photos. What have you guys done for other brands? I saw the LifeProof screenshot with 80,000 followers. Did you guys build that account? What could you grow our account to and how much time with relevant followers? What compensation are you requesting? Thanks, Justin. A few more emails, a couple calls, and a proposal later, Justin and the Synetics team decided to sign on with us. They became our second client at the time and we went on to work with them for more than three years. Our retainer with them fluctuated from $2,000 a month when we started to $10,000 a month at its peak, bringing in well over $100,000 in revenue. Now, of course, we had to earn that money and work hard for them over the years, creating content, growing their social media following, strategizing on their behalf, running a booth for them at South by Southwest. The list goes on. But it was an incredible experience and journey, and it all just started with sending a simple email to a stranger in Austin, Texas. Making that shift from what if to actually trying something. It's wild what can happen when you're able to make that shift. I hope you enjoyed my story. Thanks for listening.